Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Audio Tips. In today's tutorial, uh, I'm gonna take you guys into the Audio Effects uh, folder, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna bring up a a plugin called the uh, the Amp Designer. I'm gonna basically show you guys around it. I'll show you guys what kind of options it has to offer. Uh, basically, what the Amp Designer is. Um, we just want to get you guys a little bit more familiar with it. This is an actual actual Logic Pro plugin, so if you do have Logic Pro uh, uh, X, you will you will uh, you will have this certain plugin. So let's go ahead and open it up. We're gonna go to Audio Effects down to Amps and Pedals. We're gonna open it up. Uh, it's called Amp Designer. So it kind of looks a little something like this. As you guys can see, I have my smart controls open, so so I can basically control the plugin from down here. I got my gain, my treble, bass, mids, presence, master. We can bypass it, effects enable, uh, reverb enable, and uh, that's basically it. You guys also have uh, presets down here, what kind of amp you want to use, what kind of cabinet, what kind of mic you want to use on 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 top of that, and you guys got also got your output bar here, output bar here. So I say you you guys go in, throw it on a throw it on a um, uh, throw it on a track and test it out. See if you guys like this plugin. You guys never know uh, what you guys can come up with. Always try. And practice makes perfect. Remember that you're not always going to get a crack at it the first time. But this is basically the app designer. I just want to show you guys around it. Thank you guys for watching my video. Please subscribe.